Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here, Wednesday, September 3rd, 2014. Well, um, this was last night's video here from our beautiful girl by Dana. And boy, oh boy, the same old, same old, what can I say? I'll leave a link down below. You can go listen to the rhetoric again. He, well, in the beginning, the audio was dead so for the first minute and 40 seconds or so. So you'll have to skip forward. But basically, I know what he was trying to say. He's reiterating again that Reactor 4, the pictures are fake. There is no spent fuel pool, blah, 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 blah. All the workers that cleaned everything were all homeless. They couldn't read. They couldn't write. They're alcoholics. The same old crap. You guys can go listen to it if you want. And again, here, uh, as he gets into about half an hour into the show, what does he do again? Same old, same old. Uh, jump over to Let's pictures. Make, jump over to his what pictures. What have I got over here? Same old, same old. I don't old. know what I got sometimes. Hang yes. on. There's nobody has. Imagine that. Here's what a marine life should look like. Very nice and healthy. Very vibrant. So again, um, you look at the picture and you realize, well, there's only one starfish. And in fact, most of the videos I've uploaded and I've shared here just recently, this tidal pool project that I've started, um, the videos that I've been receiving, there's proof that there's much more marine life and just a short little clips. He doesn't want to deal with that. That's one of the things here. Again, in this video, he's talking about how uh, this great expedition for life is going to open up the debate of Fukushima and da-da-da-da-da. He doesn't realize it. No one's going to have a, a conversation with somebody who's deleting comments, deleting proof that's already life out there. At what point are, are all his viewers going to wake up? I'm not sure, but, you know, this is going to be a big change in the whole YouTube community because this guy's going to be debunked here because uh, I'm actually, uh, not myself, but someone else that cares about the truth has been in contact with a marine biologist. Uh, very, 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 very... Let me get another picture up for you. Very, very well informed. Marine and these are one of each beach. One of each. These beach. are pictures that we took. And I'll jump back and forth. So he wants to jump back and forth. I don't know if you guys see there's already a, there's a starfish right there. But regardless here, he's taking pictures from far back, you know. Um, the other day he actually made fun of this type of algae. I couldn't believe he had never seen it before. I'm, I'm wondering what? The guy's been a diver all these years and he's never seen anyways uh, there's many holes here and uh, in this latest email that was sent to me by this marine biologist which i'm not Do some of this just for a few minutes for everybody which i can't share. but this is what a healthy environment looks like again he shows pictures underwater and telling folks that this is the way it's supposed to look like again it's underwater um it's nowhere near the same rocky surface he showed you. Uh, this area here actually is always covered with water. So again, he's going to play on stuff. And um, as I said, th th I'm, we're in contact with a marine biologist. I'm not able to share his email right now. We're just waiting to see what parts I can share or if I can share the entire thing. Um, he's basically been co um, warned of... Uh, what's been going on here on YouTube and uh, we've talked about the people implicated here and how some of them are all promoting this and we're actually going to hear from real people with certified degrees and that'll be the end of this stuff okay we're going to this is going to change the, the whole YouTube community some of you the, some of you view it as uh, well connecting dots you're not doing the news anymore you're, you're spending your time doing debunking this is the news I hope you folks get that. This is the real news. These guys are supposed to be alternative news on site, calling themselves all very cool people when they're all promoting the exact same scam. And I'm the only one of the very few people here, well-known YouTubers, that's willing to pick up the torch and spread the truth. This was going to be a game changer. Trust me. So the marine biologist, not only is he a marine biologist, but he also what? Runs, uh, yeah, diving expeditions. So we're going to have a first-hand account here of what's taking place on the Sunshine Coast. And, you know, I will share a little bit of what he does says. He says, <clears throat> I can't say all of it, actually. So uh, let's see here. i got to be very careful. I'm not going to say what he says about Dana. I'm going to wait and see if I get permission on that one. But I will tell you that he, do, he did mention that he'd done a study just recently on the Sunshine Coast. He does talk about hundreds of speci species that are in danger, but he's, um, they're not anything to do with Fukushima. Uh, they were existing before Fukushima even began, not related. Again, 
pull us a sample. Get us a sample of the sea life, and then it's going to be a game changer. And, well, here's another game changer. Here's the truth again. I'm going to stick with the truth here. Wednesday, September 3rd, this is fresh off the press, nearly two dozen fish species off the U.S. West Coast deemed sustainable. Honestly, uh, wh what are they going to say now? Uh, Reuters is in on it too? Oh, my God. Anyways. I'm not going to read the entire story, but basically uh, the Monterey, Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch program upgraded the status of 21 species of bottom-dwelling fish, including varieties of sole rockfish and sablefish, to best choice or good alternative from the group's avoid classification. I guess you already caught that one. The turnaround in such a short time is unprecedented. Doesn't this fall through with all the other stories that I've been posting showing folks how the um, Pacific West Coast is actually booming? The fish are flourishing. I don't know what to say. At what point will these people end their scam? I believe when people actually hear from marine biologists who runs actually diving tours, who's done a study on the Sunshine Coast, can give you a first-hand knowledge of what's taking place and won't show you one little picture and tell you this is the way it should look along the coast everywhere. It's very sad. And, and later on in this video, he goes on to, to show a picture on Vancouver Island where there's actually some logs washed up on the beach. And he says, that's the way it looks like everywhere on Vancouver Island. I'm like, wow. How can a person say they've been near the ocean all their lives and make such statements? Is just, um, yeah. And I realize to many of you, because you're not near the ocean, it's very easy to suck it all up. As someone pointed out in a comment, you know, I, she believed Dana because in the beginning, when he first jumped on the Fukushima story nine months ago, he was publishing credible stories. And then it all got crazy. And then she said, when he came out with the Pacific Dead Ocean, she says, I live right here on Vancouver Island. I'm well aware that th things are booming is when she lost total credibility and I, uh, I should say is when he lost total credibility in her eyes and I believe that's going to come to many of you and especially you know all the rest of these people you're all going to wake up here as I mentioned the only person I really uh, have any type of trust here is this gentleman here out of Japan the rest of these people they've stabbed me in the back and lied about me and uh, not necessarily all of all of them Steve Moye hasn't but r regardless Mama Nock, she has too it's very sad they're all defending each other and I'm gonna get in I'm gonna connect the dots here because there's a lot more people right the whole monograph Dutch sense Dabu 7 you guys, uh, many of you are already waking up and realizing how these people are all intertwined. So the, the great uh, uh, conspiracy researchers, you know, uh, Dutch Sense, Montegraf, Dabu 7, none of them want to come close to this story. So we definitely are in a changing time period here on YouTube, and it's going to start here with Mr. Liar and everyone else who's pr promoting him. So as I mentioned here, uh, if you go watch the, the video from yesterday, I left some links down below, and I talked about how there's actually a couple who have been informed about this big scam here of the Pacific Ocean and what? They're actually right there on the West Coast. They're traveling it. So they, they have a blog here. I'll leave the links down below again. You can see where they anchor every night. You can actually Google Earth this. They got a Twitter account. You can follow them on Twitter. Oh, look at that. She's already posted something here. Again, beautiful girl by Dana is not going to accept all this stuff. He just wants people to know that it's the end of the world and the Pacific Ocean is dead. And while the stories are coming out, it's the opposite. So again, I'll leave this in the links down below. And um, I'm going to mention one more time that if you're subscribed to Connecting Dots 2 or my other YouTube channel, Connect Connecting Dots uh, 2, sorry, Connecting Dots 3, Connecting Dots 2, um, there's a good chance you're not going to get your upload notifications. Many people have complained about it in the past. And also, a game changer here, folks. I don't think I'm going to spend the donation money that those of you have been sending me here to go and debunk Dana by traveling up the Powell River. Uh, depending if I get a massive amount, then yes, I'll take a small portion of that and go. But I would rather spend the money on buying the gamma spectrometer. As I mentioned here, you go listen to my videos. I live right here on Vancouver Island, right on right on the Strait of Juan de Fuca, where apparently all this radiation here that uh, Buckyball Boy has been talking about here, even on the Jeff Renzo show, he's been talking about how the Strait of Juan de Fuca has been carrying all this radiation. So if I am sitting right at this massive area where all this water is traveling back and forth with all this radiation, well, why not have me here where I can check the kelp 
on an ongoing basis. I don't need thousands of thousands of dollars to, for, uh, you know, so I can buy a new boat, a radar, and all this other stuff, the life jackets. I just walk down to the beach here, and I can pick up some of these sea enemies. You've seen, if you've seen my videos here, I've shown how there's multiple different uh, starfish right here in my harbor. So I don't know why he's deleting everything and doesn't want to tell people the truth. Actually, I do know why, because it's about the scam and getting money. So, like I said, um, I, I want to save that money and actually buy a gamma spectrometer so I can test. Okay, real seafood right here on the West Coast. That's my plan. If you guys think I should go ahead up the Powell River uh, with the donations, please mention so in the uh, comments. And by the way, yes, YouTube is still deleting comments. I don't know what to say. Um, I upload a video and I go check 15, 20 minutes later. It's supposed to be anywhere from three to seven comments, it'll say. I go click on it and there's only two comments. And I go look on the comments to approve or anything that's been marked spam. Nothing there for me to approve. So yeah, there's, there's no doubt it's an ongoing problem. So again, folks, remember these names because this is going to be YouTube's big game changer. Again, in this latest video, he defends Energy News, who again is what? Promoting the death of the Pacific Ocean. It's all about getting the people that follow the radiation news right on energy news into the scam and have Nibru promoted, Rad Chick promoted, Missing Sky, Pink Safarat. You guys all know this anyways. There's no doubt about it, but uh, how it all ties into Monograph and Dutch Sense and Dabu 7. Hang on tight here because this is a game changer and it's happening this year, this summer, right here on YouTube. Take care, folks. Hope you enjoy the info. And uh, why not share this story here with uh, you know who? Ciao.